Hey guys, I'm back with another DIY video for you, and it's going to be really fun. So you guys might remember that last year I was a Ford Fiesta agent, and they gave each of us these business cards, which we could give out to people if they were asking about the car or whatever. Well, I never gave out a single business card. So I gave the car back, but I still have 1,000 of these business cards. I could just throw them out, but that would be such a waste. So I give you three ways to recycle old business cards. going to do is make confetti. This works the best if your cards are already fun colors and luckily the Ford Fiesta cards are teal and purple on one side and then blue on the other side. For this project I'm going to be using these fringe scissors which are made by Martha Stewart and they have five blades. They're really cool and they only cost ten dollars so I'm gonna link to them in my sublime list down below in case you want to get a pair for yourself. So the first thing to do is to lay down a piece of paper to catch all of the little bits that we'll be cutting off. After that just use the scissors to cut fringe down one side of the business card, and then cut up the other side to make tiny little squares of confetti. Once you've repeated this over and over until you have a nice big pile of confetti, you can pour it into a jar for safekeeping. At this point, you could throw it in the air and have a party, but if you don't want to be cleaning all of that up. You can also just use it as decoration and maybe throw a few fake flowers in there. The second thing that we're going to make are these cute little hanging flowers. Here you can see the test version that I made, which is fine, but I kind of want to cover up the cards so that my name isn't still splashed all across them. This step is optional, but I think it just makes the whole thing look a lot neater. So I'm going to cover up the cards in this duck brand adhesive laminate in a sparkly silver color. However, before I cover the cards, I'm just going to cut them in half since the original flower was a bit too thick for my liking. You're going to need six business cards for each flower, so once you have six pieces that are all the same width, you can grab your laminate and start rolling it out. Lay down the business card pieces so that you can see how much of the laminate you're going to need and then cut off the piece you've just measured. Then just unpeel the backing and start sticking the cards to the back of it. Once all of your business cards are stuck down, just use your scissors to cut them out. Once all of the pieces are covered on one side by the silver laminate, now it's time to do the other side. Do the exact same thing, cutting off a piece of laminate and then laying the pieces down on it. Once everything is stuck down, just cut them out one more time. Again, this step is optional, but just look at how pretty this pattern is. I love it so much. Okay, so now that you finally have all of the pieces covered and shiny, now it's time to actually make the flower. You're going to need scotch tape, preferably the type that is perfectly clear rather than kind of translucent. To make each petal, just pick up one piece and then bend it in half without putting a crease in it, just bend it. And then use a piece of tape to tape the two ends together. You should get a shape that's kind of long and flat, so just push it together a little bit to make it look more like a petal. Do this for each of the other pieces, and when you lay them out, you'll see how they form a flower. So grab another piece of tape, and then tape two of the pieces together on both sides. Continue doing that for each of the petals until your flower is completely taped together. At this point you could glue on a magnet or just put it on a shelf for decoration, but I want to hang mine. So I'm just going to grab my hole punch and my ribbon and then punch two holes at the top of the flower. Then just thread the ribbon through and tie a simple knot at the end. And for one more final touch I'm just going to hot glue some rhinestones right in the center. You can make these flowers with five or six petals, and you can make the ribbon as long or as short as you like. And then just hang them up in your window, in your locker, anywhere that you want. I think they came out super cute. I would love to see your take on how you make them. make is this really cute mini banner. I'm going to start by folding one of the business cards in half and then cutting a triangle out of the bottom to get the perfectly symmetrical shape that I want. Then trace and cut this shape out from the next business card and then use that one which is flat as the pattern for all of the rest. Repeat this until you have as many shapes as you would like for your banner. So I was going to cover these cards with white duct tape but when I tried it you could still see the pattern pretty clearly through the tape. So instead I decided
ready to use this teal duct tape. Now luckily, duct tape is about the same width as business cards, so just cut off a piece and stick it to one side of the card. Trim off the excess and do the same thing on the other side. Edges, you can see that there's still a little bit of card showing through, so I'm going to cover that up with washi tape. I picked out four patterns of washi tape, which I'm going to alternate down the length of the banner. So once all the edges are covered with washi tape, it is time to add the letters. You could paint them, or draw them, or do whatever you'd like, but I'm going to use these gold letter stickers on mine. Just unpeel the backing and stick it on, and repeat this until every piece of your banner is finished. I decided to spell out what I think should be a daily reminder for myself, which is make things, and I left a blank piece on either end and in the middle. So to string them together, just grab your hole punch and some string, and punch two holes in the top corners of each piece. This is going to take a little bit of effort to cut through all of the layers, but if I can do it, then you can do it. And then just simply string them on until you have your finished banner. for reusing old business cards. Let me know in the comments which one of the three was your favorite idea, or if you have any other ideas, because even after all that, I still have over half of the box left over. So if you want to make any of these, I put links to all of the materials in my new sublime list, which is linked right down below. I'm also giving away this hexagon paper punch, which I showed in my Fisker's craft haul. They had sent me a duplicate, so I'm giving one of them away to one of you guys. I really wanted to use it in this video, but it turns out it doesn't cut cardstock very nicely. But normal paper works fine, so if you have ever wanted unlimited paper hexagons, make sure to head over to my sublime list to enter to win. So that is it from me. Don't forget I am also making videos over on the new HGTV handmade channel, which you can watch right here. And if you want more crafty goodness, you can watch my huge Fiskars haul, which is like scissors and cutting tools. They sent me so much stuff. You can watch me go through all of it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time.